Hello everyone, this is your boy Ace here. Welcome to After News Delight. Well, pretty sad day here in the world of figure skating as we just learned that Alyssa Lou retired from figure skating competition at the age of 16. Three years after becoming the youngest U.S. champion in history and weeks after placing 7th at the Olympics and 3rd at the World Championships a couple of weekends ago. She says, in quote, I'm here to announce I am retiring from figure skating. That's what she posted on Instagram on Saturday. I started skating when I was about five. So that's about 11 years on the ice. And it's been an insane 11 years. A lot of good and a lot of bad. I feel so fat satisfied with how my skating career has gone. Now I'm officially done with my goals in skating. I'm going to be moving on in my life. Lou's father later confirmed the veracity of the post. Lou said before and after last month's World Championships, where she became the first U.S. female singer, single skater to earn a medal in six years, that she was undecided on whether to competing next season. Some skaters retire at the one Olympics, though Lou will be the first U.S. female skater not to bid for a second Olympics since 2002 gold medalist Sarah Hughes. Lou's Olympic teammates, Mariah Bell and Karen Chen also said last month that they were undecided about competing next season. Chen will resume studies at Cornell but could try to juggle skating. Lou made a big splash in 2019 at the age of 13 when she broke Terry Lipinski's world record as the youngest U.S. champion. She was also the youngest woman to land a triple axel internationally, also 13, and the first U.S. woman to land a quadruple jump at the co- at competition at age 14. She repeated as national champion in 2020. Her last positively graded triple actual quad was actually in a 2019-20 season after which she had which she had multiple coaching changes in the last two years. This year she withdrew doing the figure skating championships in January after a positive COVID test following her third place short program. She successfully petitioned onto three woman, uh, three woman team as the highest ranked American in an international competition this season. In her Olympic debut, she was also the top American in seventh place. She followed that last month with a bronze medal at the World Championships with our Russian figure skaters. Lou is the oldest of five children raised in the Bay Area by a single father who immigrated from the U.S. from uh, China in 1989. Well, sad day as, you know, Alyssa Lou was obviously one of the top um, female skaters in the U.S. And, you know, that was her final Olympics. Nobody saw it coming, but these things do happen, guys, as you just, you never know, um, you know, how these things are going to go. So it's sad to hear, um, but it was a joy to watch her, at least from my perspective, it was definitely a joy to watch her. Um, and you know, if she feels like this is time to move on with her life, it is what it is. You know, um, it's going to be on the women's figure skating side. I think it's going to be a totally different looking situation, um, going into the 2026 Olympics. It's going to be a really different looking team, uh, when we get to that point. But, um, you know, I wish Alyssa Lou the best. I'm pretty sure she's probably going to stay around the sport at times, you know, doing stuff for NBC Sports or whatever. But, um, you know, um, it's it's definitely a sad day just anytime you hear one of these figure skating, uh, bigger names in figure skating uh, uh, going away. But um, I'm done. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, Please like this video, share, subscribe. Any comments that you have that you want to report, they're gladly welcome on the channel. Thank you guys for watching. After news, delight.